Hi guys, and welcome to Go Roughly Around the World. Greg and I are riding around the world with our German Shepherd Moxie on the back of my motorcycle in her canine moto cockpit. We put out new episodes every Sunday, so make sure you tune in. So today we want to talk about water storage and hydration solutions for motorcycle travel. We have a few different products here that have really helped us be successful in carrying water for the two of us plus the dog in a variety of conditions. Yeah. Today we're in Zacatecas. We wild camped last night in a cactus field in the middle of nowhere. And so it seemed like really the right place to do this talk since desert water, you get it. Mm. We're gonna go from biggest to smallest. So first up, we have the Giant Loop Cactus Canteen. Now this is hands down the best water storage solution that we have encountered and we've tried a bunch. So this guy is super durable on the outside and has a, I guess, TPU type uh, water bag on the inside. It comes in a two gallon and a one gallon size and you can see that it is totally intended for strapping down and connecting to motorcycle luggage. There's another great thing about this. Absolutely, you've got the top for putting, pouring water in and it's uh, adaptable to various types of you know, products out there of different spigots and so forth. But you don't need any of that because Giant Loop just killed it with this not so hidden gem. Mm -hmm. On the bottom, you unzip and here's your spigot, okay? And this spigot connects to any type of thing, uh, tubes of, of this size. We actually have a tube from an older MSR version uh, water bag that has the shower attachment. And so we simply connect the shower attachment here. If you don't want to shower, you've still got a long tube for dispensing water. And so this one is the two gallons. And so that does good for us for a day's worth of camping, a day's worth of drinking, potentially two little bucket baths, a shower, and cooking. And Moxie is kind of a water hog. The other really great thing about this one is it stands up. So clearly we have completed a night and morning of, of uh, camping. There's about uh, maybe a liter or so of water left in here and it is still standing properly on the ground easy. Next up, we have the Hydropack Flux Plus. So this guy is a liter and a half of storage with the super added bonus of a filter that's built in. So now you're in a position to take tap water, stream water, lake water, you name it, and be sure that 99.9 .9 whatever percent of all the protozoas and so forth have been killed and you can drink cleanly and safely. Yeah, and so I'm the one who carries this one and a half liters in my front pockets on my bike. I use this for my own drinking water, but mostly for, for Moxie. This is like her drinking water that I can put in. She doesn't necessarily need filtered water, but I'm, I'm glad that I'm able to provide that for her. And yeah, it does have that squeeze top, so it's just easy for, for it to come out. Um, and this is a really lightweight too. It's not a big hulky thing. So as it, as it loses its water, as we use the water, it gets a little bit smaller. Once again, you can see it stands up all by itself. It's barely halfway full and it's standing up. Yeah. The last piece of kit that we want to show is this Hydropack Stow. This is the 500 milliliter size that also comes in a one liter as well. This is perfect for your sort of daily or moment by moment needs. This is great for drinking as you go, hiking, walking, strolling, riding. We bring it into the tent, it's perfect size, and it comes with a squeeze. So you're not gonna lose anything if you drop it or if it you know, is upside down or laying down. And it's really lightweight. Like this is not a really like heavy, heavy duty thing that's going to take up so much space. As you drink it, it's gonna get smaller, but it's still really like protective of its water. It also will stand up. Um, the other thing, there's, there's sort of a bonus to this guy. The bonus is that you can use it along with a tube for that sort of backpack style hydration. Uh, hydration. Exactly. So what we do is we use the tank bag. So the water, uh, the stow gets placed on the inside, okay? And we have a tube that connects to it as well. So this, this tube is also a hydropack piece of kit. It is not actually intended because they just, they just didn't know that you can do this with their own stuff. 
but um, this goes with one of their larger water storage solutions. But if you use this, you just buy this as the accessory, and you can rig it in to, to fit inside this uh, suck top. And by just simply taking the um, plastic piece out that does that sort of squeeze action. That lets you feed this in, and then you've got an interchangeable top. Yeah, so then all you basically have to do is just, like take this off after you've been using it for the day, and then you just replace it. And you put it in here, and then you've got it in your tank bag, and then you can just grab the, the hydration hose, and then you can suck from it while you're, while you're riding. The added bonus here of this, this hose, it's got like a flipper, I guess. So it is currently in the off position, meaning no sucking can occur. Mm. We hope you found this quick run through helpful and informative. Make your motorcycle travels and motorcycle camping more successful. Yeah, and if you guys did, please leave a comment down below and let us know if you use these products, if there's other ones that you guys use. We'd love to hear that as well. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to us here on YouTube to see our weekly episodes for Go Roughly Around the World and at Go Roughly for Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Thanks, guys.